Welcome to Analytics Talent, Winning the War. My name is Katie Prezis, Director of Research here at Birchworks Executive Recruiting. Being the specialist in data science, marketing research, and analytics recruiting, we know that finding analytics talent can be challenging. So today, we're going to share our best advice on how you, as a hiring manager or human resource professional, can win the war for analytics talent. As everyone knows, big data is everywhere. New analytics groups are forming all the time as the use cases for analytics and data science within industry continue to grow. This rapid expansion has led to inconsistent definitions of predictive analytics professionals and data scientists. So let's start by discussing how you can discern between the two. Those in predictive analytics apply sophisticated quantitative skills to data describing transactions, interactions, or other behaviors in order to derive insights and prescribe actions. They work with vast quantities of structured data and answer business questions by developing statistical models and then make recommendations for the business based on what they've found. Here at Birchworks, we consider data science to be a subset of predictive analytics that is combined with computer science. In addition to the analytics skills, data scientists also wrangle unstructured or streaming data like video, audio, social media, sensor data, or long blocks of language. To do this, they use deeper coding and programming knowledge such as Java, C++, or Python. They can work with a variety of data sources and infrastructures such as traditional relational database structures plus non-relational big data technologies like Hadoop and Spark. So data scientists have a greater emphasis on computer science skills in addition to the strong math and statistical skills needed for all predictive analytics professionals. What does an analytics candidate resume typically look like? Well, analytics professionals generally have had formal training, such as a master's or PhD, in a quantitative field like math, statistics, operations research, or economics. More recently, they could also have experience with a newer master's program, such as a master's in predictive analytics or even in data science. Massive open online courses or MOOCs like Coursera or Udacity and boot camps are less traditional but becoming more common. The most common tools analytics professionals use are SAS, R, and SQL. However, we're now seeing more using tools like Python, Hive, or Hadoop, which are typical data science tools and platforms, plus data visualization tools like Tableau. A few groups that we don't consider under the umbrella of predictive analytics are survey and marketing researchers who conduct traditional, primary, and secondary research, web analytics professionals who focus on website data using tools like Omniture and Google Analytics, traditional MBAs, those programs usually aren't quantitative enough, and business intelligence, which is typically more IT and reporting focused and doesn't include model development. The key to winning the war for talent is being equipped with the right data and insights about the talent market. So let's dive in. The first piece of that data is compensation. Here you can see how predictive analytics salaries increase as experience and management responsibility increases. These are median base salaries and only include the base, so no bonuses or equity are included. Salaries can differ quite a bit between traditional analytics folks and data scientists. At every career level, data scientists have a higher median base salary than predictive analytics professionals, even more so for individual contributors, where data scientists can earn 20 to 30% higher salaries. So you need to be careful and figure out exactly what it is you're looking for as a hiring authority. It really does pay to know the difference. There are a few other consistent variations in salaries. PhD holders can earn more than those with a master's degree, who typically earn more than those with a bachelor's degree, especially amongst junior professionals. In management, holding a PhD has less impact on salaries as leadership skills are of greater influence. Generally, salaries are higher in the Northeast and on the West Coast. However, this usually doesn't make up for cost of living differences. Salaries also vary by industry. To see industry variations at each job level or more details about any of these points, you can download our full salary report for free at birchworks.com study. In an analysis we did for our blog, 
we found that the median base salary increase when predictive analytics professionals change companies is 13%, much higher than the 2 to 4% increase many employees get for staying at their jobs each year. Many see increases between 1 and 15%, as you can see in this chart. Another factor that is very important when recruiting analytics professionals, especially if you're looking for junior level talent, is residency status. Overall, 38% of predictive analytics professionals have a visa that allows them to work in the U.S., such as an F1 or OPT, H1B, or green card. In fact, half of individual contributors with one to eight years experience are looking for visa support. So being open to transferring or sponsoring visas is critical. It gives you access to the entire analytics talent pool. If you're looking for a leg up on your competition, consider H1 and OPT candidates. Financial services and marketing and advertising companies are the largest employers of predictive analytics business professionals, over 50% combined this year. Given the diversity of industry backgrounds, consider applicants from other verticals when you're recruiting. Just think, if you aren't open to financial services candidates, you just reduce your talent pool by a third. 50% of predictive analytics professionals have fewer than 10 years of experience. This is important for a couple reasons, but the main one is be ready to teach business acumen, plus teaching the ability to wrap a story around data. Plan to impart these skills by encouraging your junior recruits to keep up with news, promote conference attendance, and plan to provide a significant amount of one-on-one -on -one training to put business problems into context. Also, if you're looking for a seasoned leader, who brings 15 or 20 years of experience, know that you'll be tapping a small pool. How long can you expect people to stay on your team? Our recent analysis found that the average tenure for analytics folks is only two years. Anecdotally, we find that most tend to stay at their jobs for about two to four years, but if you're expecting your staff to stay put for five, 10, 15 years, good luck. Some attrition is always to be expected, and so you should plan for it. We are all painfully aware that the market for analytics professionals and data scientists is very active. When we recently took a look at our LinkedIn network, we found that 22.1% of analytics professionals got a new job in 2016, up from 20.1% in 2015 and 18.6% in 2014. These are people who actually changed companies and doesn't count those who only received a promotion. So competition is fierce, but what actually makes an analytics professional change jobs? When asked to choose their top two factors, no surprise, salary was the top motivator. But opportunities for advancement is a close second. Salary is not the only thing people look for when evaluating opportunities. Career growth, challenging work, and work-life balance are also important considerations for many. Now that you know more about analytics professionals, what kind of competition are you up against? When we surveyed hiring authorities, 84% planned to hire analytics or data science talent during the second half of 2016, and more than half of them were hiring to add to their headcount. So if you're hiring analytics folks, you're definitely not the only one, and you have a lot of competition. So how can your team stand out? How can your firm work to attract and retain talent? Let's talk about four winning strategies you can implement to build a world-class team. First is departmental strategy. You need top-level support to apply analytics throughout the company. People want to feel that their work will be put to good use. They want to make sure that analytics have a real impact on business decisions. So where does the analytics team sit in the organization? What's the visibility to leadership? Tools and methodologies are evolving quickly, so make sure your department has the latest and greatest. And if you're open to different software, this broadens your appeal. Next, let's talk recruiting strategy. It's important to prioritize your needs rather than have an exhaustive list of non-negotiables. Evaluate whether applicants have the smarts and attitude to pick up anything they're missing. When you find your candidate, act decisively and move them through your hiring process quickly. Many candidates will be weighing multiple offers, 
So ensure you leave a positive and memorable impression by keeping your hiring process buttoned up. Along those lines, communication should be quick and transparent. And make sure you sell the position. Help them see why they should want to work with you. Next, let's review compensation strategy. Make sure the offer you present is strong but fair with no last minute surprises at the offer point. A sign on bonus is another way to sweeten the pot if you have salary band constraints. If a candidate has to relocate, it's important to know that early in the process. Well packaged relocation perks and services can help seal the deal. And equity is now very much a consideration for candidates. So once you get your all star staff, how do you retain them? That's where retention strategy comes in. Aside from salary and growth opportunities, don't forget that challenging and interesting work are also key drivers of retention. Employee development might look like offering the opportunity to learn new skills, use cutting edge tools, and giving them lots of visibility across your organization and with business leaders. Flexible hours or work from home options are also very appealing. So be generous if you can. However, know that no matter what, you're still going to have some attrition. So plan ahead. The tips we've shared in today's video should be helpful as you search for talent. For those of you who don't know us, Birchworks is an executive recruiting firm. We specialize in the placement of quantitative business professionals who typically work in analytics, data science, and marketing research. Our network is massive tens of thousands of analytics and insights professionals in the U.S. We offer both contingency and retained services and work with clients ranging from Fortune 50 corporations to growing startups nationwide. We've shared a lot of data today, but it's just the tip of the iceberg. Visit our website at birchworks.com study to download our full salary reports. Our studies each have more than 30 pages of insights, and we have several reports for predictive analytics, data science, and market research professionals. If you'd like to discuss your hiring plans and how we might be able to help, send us an email at info at birchworks.com and we can set up a time for you to chat with one of our recruiting experts. Thanks for watching and subscribe to Birchworks on YouTube for more hiring insights.